From ukuleles to luau's to ohana, let's talk about what you need to know to travel to Hawaii during COVID-19. In the alarming news tonight about the coronavirus, the risk of contracting the virus on a plane appears to be in the same category as being struck by lightning. Devastating at every level. The U.S. reporting more than 371,000 American lives lost. To answer a major question, just how risky is it? So before we start, just know that COVID is serious. If you're going to travel, make sure you do it safely. If you love traveling and you want to be part of this community, just drop a like, drop a subscribe so we can build a community of people that travel the world together. If there's anywhere else you're looking to go right now during COVID, also leave a comment down below. Let me know where and I'll research to find out what we need to know to get you there. Before you go, what do you need to know? Hawaii has two great resources that you can use to find out all the information you need to know to travel to Hawaii right now. The first is gohawaii.com and the second is hawaiicovid19.com backslash travel. They're both great resources and they keep them up to date. So you want to refer back to those when you're looking to travel. I'll leave those down in the description below so you can find those links. COVID-19 tests. Anywhere you're traveling right now is pretty much requiring one. For Hawaii, all adults and minors five years or older must have a negative COVID-19 test from a test that was taken within 72 hours of departure prior to going to Hawaii. If you can't provide that when you get to the island, you have to do a 10 day mandatory quarantine. It doesn't matter if you have the vaccine or not, you still have to do that quarantine. Now they have a list of acceptable partners that you can take COVID tests with. That's available on the hawaiicovid19.com backslash travel dash partners website. Also linked down in the description below. And they only accept the nucleic acid amplification test, the NAAT, from a certified clinical laboratory improvement amendment lab test from their trusted testing and travel partners. Like I said, the link to all of those is down in the description below so you can find one near you. Every adult has to create their own account on travel.hawaii.gov. They're going to ask you several basic questions and they're going to ask you about any minors that you're traveling with. First thing you're going to have to do is enter the details of your trip, including your arrival date, airline, your reason for travel. After you submit that, you're going to upload your documentation. Now your negative COVID-19 test has to be taken within 72 hours from your final leg of travel. That means if you're flying from New York to LA and then from LA to Hawaii, the 72 hour countdown goes from when you leave LA, not New York. So you just want to keep that in mind when you're planning out when to take your test. After uploading your documentation, then you have to take a picture of yourself. That'll be used for verification when you get to the airport. Now, 24 hours prior to your departure, you're going to have access to a thing called the Travel Health Questionnaire. They're going to ask you lots of health questions, such as if you feel sick, if you've taken medicine to reduce a fever in the last 24 hours, if you've traveled to other states. You'll fill that out, again, 24 hours prior to your departure. After submitting all of that, you're gonna be sent a QR code. Now you're gonna to need to keep this QR code with you while you're traveling. I suggest screenshotting and printing a paper copy just in case something happens to your phone. And you're gonna to need to have that ready for when you get to the island. So when you arrive, what's it like? You're gonna to have to have that QR code. I'd have it in multiple places, like I said. You also have to have your ID and your cell phone because they're gonna check your contact information. You wanna also bring your test results with you to the airport. What they're going to do is check all of that when you get there, just to make sure that you're okay to be on the island and that you are COVID negative. After going through that entire arrival process, your trip details and your state of Hawaii travel site will be updated to show that you have been made exempt from the 10 day quarantine. You need to show that to ground transportation as well as when you get to your hotel. So what's it like? Restaurants, retailers, attractions, indoor activities such as museums, movie theaters, and bowling alleys that are open with some restrictions. You have to wear face coverings. You have to stay socially distant. Every island has its own emergency rules for health and safety purposes. So you just want to make sure you're aware of that. Also, county parks and beaches all over the island are open with some restrictions. And there are some state parks and monuments that are open. So you just want to check and see where you want to go, see what the restrictions are there. Now, one thing I would consider doing before you go to the island is downloading the Aloha Safe Alert app. This app is a voluntary service that Hawaii has developed to keep track of exposure, to notify you if you come into contact with someone that has COVID-19. Now, the app doesn't track your location. How it works is it anonymously keeps track of devices that you've been in close to within 14 days. So if one of those people develops COVID-19 and they say they have it in the app, then you'll get a notification saying, hey, you were near someone that has COVID-19. With all that being said, Hawaii COVID travel guide, Corbin there done that. Aloha, my friends.